hey Wilson, what is a hero product? Typically speaking, hero product can generate at least $1 million in revenue annually, okay? And this hero product is what truly makes a brand. Now, having said that, doesn't mean that you're only limited to having one hero product. It's just that we need to focus on building one SKU at a time one item at a time. So for example, if you're thinking about McDonald's, McDonald's really truly made their name by serving cheeseburgers. And then they expanded into Big Macs, McFlurry, and so on and so forth. Same thing with KFC. They're able to build a billion dollar business just by selling fried chicken. That itself is a hero item. Now, why is it important for us to focus on just building one hero item? It is because if our focus is too diverse, if we're trying to make skewers, or if we're trying to make fried rice, if we're trying to make fried chicken, then efforts will be lost because it's just not efficient enough. And on top of that, we need to understand one thing. Our resources are finite. That means we can have only so much time, so much resources, so much money, investment, and bandwidth to handle with building our business. And that's the reason why focusing on one product, making it the best is the way to go. Now, a brand would also be very hard to actually communicate to our customers if the messaging is not aligned or if we're serving multiple different things. Much easier to be known to be the best fried chicken in town than to have like best fried fries, best fried chicken, best fried skewers, all these kind of things. Messaging becomes diluted. Now, having said that, does not mean that having multiple product is a bad idea. On the contrary, having more items is actually necessary for you to be profitable. This is just not a focus right now that we're going to be talking about for now. In the future lessons, we're going to cover this, okay? But you're going to be asking, Wilson, what if I already have multiple different food ideas in mind? How would I know which one is my hero item? Now, having said that, if you're looking at your line of products, look at the item that generates at least 80 or close to 80% of your revenue. Typically speaking, 20% of your item and your product line should account for 80% of your revenue. And this is called the Pareto's law. And this happens to all, and it's applicable to a lot of different scenarios specifically for this one, okay? Now that you have identified the one that pulls in a lot and majority of your revenue, then it is time to cut out the rest of the stuff. And we're gonna work on perfecting that hero item, making sure that it's bulletproof, making sure it's pulling in a lot of money for you and generating a lot of traction and building the right menu items to support that hero item in order for you to make your business the most profitable, okay? Now it is your turn and to, for you to decide what your hero product is. Go into the template in the link below, download the worksheet called the multiple product analysis and follow the instructions. 